This is Mandela Bay by Jonathan Butler. I had a listen to this one before. It's a township style with a couple extra jazz chords. It's in E. What's common? The, that, play that fifth over chord one. So we've got chord one, chord four, and then playing the fifth over chord one, and then the fifth again. I'll put, I'll put a proper chord chart. There it is, there's that fifth. Put a proper ch chord chart in so you can hear exactly what's the sus, what's the seventh, and everything like that. Now I've not transcribed the bass line in full. I don't think that's really essential. What's necessary is just to get the groove. You've got a five string because it's playing that C sharp quite low. So it's just a few passing notes and then you can just kind of Put in your own kind of own own melodies, own passing notes. You know, there's a melody playing throughout the song so you know it's guitar led and here we're playing the third we're playing E but we're emphasizing the third pedaling the third under it and key change here we go So when the key change comes, it's kind of also a signal that that you've, you know, you've 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 really emphasised and stated and done your job as a bass player in, in the in the first part of the song by emphasising all the roots, and you can you can get a bit more funky now. You can afford, when, you know, once you've really stated what it is, you can afford to make it a bit more interesting without overdoing it. Funky. 